Hello everybody. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how we can be even profitable with simple strategy like moving average crossover. Um, I leave you the link to this video here. If you have not seen it, I, I suggest you to first watch it, then come back to this video. And in this video, we are going to see how the code is written. And uh, I leave you the link in the descriptions to my MQ5 accounts where you can find this code and this uh, expert advisor. So. Uh, first, from tools, I open the MetaCode language editor where the code is there. Here is the expert advisor, Moving Average Strategy. This is the name. From the top, we go down. It's not hard. So, uh, first, we have the properties here. It's already defined for us, but uh, you should add these uh, classes. This is sharp include. This is actually another class. This is, we are just adding. Uh, these includes here. Then by adding these two includes, which is trade backslash trade that MQH and trade backslash position info that MQH, we are able to read the C trade class and C position class. We define two object named trading, and we gave them C trade class and position. We gave it C position class. Then here we define our inputs. Moving average fast period 14, moving average slow period 21. We define them like input integer, slow, uh, moving average slow period equal to 25. And the reference is 100. Uh, we have a time frame. This is the name, time frame with 2e, because uh, uh, time frame with 1e is already defined in the MQL5. Then its type is enum time frame, and it is equal to period 1. Remember, all of this input will be changed. They are just these are just initial values. When we backtest them, we note we saw that we, when we are using different combinations, we are different. We are using different values for each of these inputs. Uh, we have this variable is by equal to true. Then the risk person. What is the risk person? Actually, the risk person is uh, the amount of money that we want to risk whenever we hit the stop loss. When we hit the stop loss, we only lose 1% of our uh, balance. The lot size, it's a variable, and we use all of these variables. I defined them at the beginning of the code. Here is the main body of the code in the antique uh, section here to this point. This is the main body of the code, but before uh, before going into it, deeply deep inside of it, uh, you should know that we have some functions here that we are using them. And these functions, normally you don't have them. All of them are written by myself. You don't have them, but I will leave you them too. You can use them in your uh, code too. Here, this one, this function is used to calculate the RSI as simple and easy as we used to use it in MQL4. Uh, then we have a function to calculate the uh, moving average, the function name is moving average calculator. It has some inputs. The first input is the symbol. The second input you choose between the different time frames in the list of enum time frames. Then we have the, the, the next input is period. Then the next input is shift. When shift is zero, it means what is the moving average? corresponding to the first candle. If shift is 1, it means what is the moving average corresponding to the second candle. If shift is 2, it means what is the corresponding moving average uh, to the third candle. It's important to notice that. And then in a, in a method, the mode, we choose the mode. By mode, we choose it whether we want to use moving average simple or exponential moving averages or other type of them. Then applied price, we again choose between this enum applied price. We want to do calculation based on the close value or the open value or the uh, high value or uh, low value. Then the last one, it's a buffer. Initial value is 10. If it is 10, this function calculate uh, the moving average for the last 10 uh, candles. We can increase it to 100, but I don't want to uh, take a lot of memory, so I 
initial value is 10 and I don't think that you need more than that but whenever you need it you can just increase it optimum lat size we are using optimum lat size function to calculate the lat which by using this lat if we hit the stop loss we only use one percent of our uh, our balance the first input that this function get is the symbol the second one is the entry point the third one is uh, stop loss the stop loss value and the last one is the risk person if you want to risk only two person we enter two person we want to risk ten person we uh, we enter ten person uh, which I never suggest and then the last one uh, is new candle this this is this function which is the new candle it's only return uh, true when the when the candle starts so it would be true only for one cycle and it's at the beginning of the candle it's very important you uh, it's not always true it's just true once and maybe it, it is true in less than 100 milliseconds but still it's very important because we can use it to restrict our code to open trade once per candle and this the last one i wrote it to close all open candles and now we goes back to the uh, main body of the code, which is here. We define the ask and beat. And then we define moving average fast for the first candle, moving average slow for the first candle. Actually, it would be for the second candle because the number is one. Uh, for the first candle, it would be zero. For second candle, it would be one. Because here, the shift is one. It means for the second candle. Uh, and uh, when the sh when the shift is two, it means for the third candle. So, moving average fast one. Uh, how do we compare two moving averages to see whether the crossover happened or not? We don't do it for the first candle because the first candle it fluctuates. Maybe it crosses it and then goes back again. Cross it, goes back again. Cross it and goes back because the price is not fixed. But for the for the second and third candle the price is fixed so when the moving average fast for the second candle is below the moving average slow but at the same time the moving average fast for the third candle is uh, above the moving average slow for the third candle it means the crossover to downside a has happened and it is exactly the same uh, in the other side so we go back here First, we define the moving average fast one, moving average fast two, reference, moving average fast for the third candle, moving average slow for the third candle. The buffer would be two for the third candle. And if you continue like that, uh, if the position total is equal to zero and trade is allowed, when the trade would be allowed, when is new candle is true. So at the beginning of each candle, we this if condition would be run, and we say the trade is allowed. And when the trade is allowed, we are allowed to check this if condition. When ask is greater than the reference moving average, it means we are higher than the reference. We are only allowed, allowed to uh, open a buy order. And this else is when this condition is not true. It means when we are below the reference and we are only allowed to sell. When do we buy? when the moving average fast 2 is less than moving average slow 2 and moving average fast 1 is greater than moving average slow 1 it means the crossover to the upper side has occurred uh, then we calculate the lat size we send a, tra a buy order by using the C trade class please if you don't know how it is it works I leave you the video to this to the descriptions of C trade class here you can watch it then we say is buy is true it means the last open order is buy and trading is allowed is equal to false and how long it stays false it stays false until this if uh, executed again and this if will be executed once per candle and it is at the beginning of the candle it's very important this is for sell too it's exactly the same with this one but in the other direction when moving average fast for the third candle is greater than moving average slow for the third candle and moving average fast for the second candle 
is less than moving average slow for the second candle, it means cross over to the downside has happened and we want to open a sell order. This is, this is it. And how to close the orders? How do we close them? We close them when the low, when the, okay, when the open order is buy and the current candle price goes below the moving average slow one, we close all the order. And when the open order is sell and the high of the current candle go higher than the moving average slow one, it means close the sell order and we close it here. Uh, it may be a little complicated, but please download it, read it, try to write it down by yourself, by your logic, and I believe that you can even write it much more efficient and uh, much better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I leave you the link to this to download this code in the descriptions. I wish you all the best. Goodbye.